Upper respiratory infections are among the most common illnesses that people experience, and chances are, you've dealt with at least one this year. Whether it's a persistent sore throat, a runny nose that just won't quit, or that scratchy cough keeping you up at night, these infections can be downright frustrating. But have you ever wondered what causes them or why they're so common? Understanding the different types of upper respiratory infections can help you recognize the symptoms, know when to seek treatment, and even take steps to prevent them altogether, which is what we're going to cover in this video. So keep watching to learn more about the most common types of upper respiratory infections, including a few that you've probably never heard of before. Number 1. Common Cold The common cold, also known as nasopharyngitis, is a viral infection primarily affecting the nose and throat. It is the most frequent infectious disease in humans. It is caused by a variety of viruses, with rhinoviruses being the most common culprits. Symptoms often include sneezing, runny or snuffy nose, sore throat, coughing, and low-grade fever. The common cold is highly contagious and spreads through droplets in the air when an infected person coughs or sneezes, or through direct contact with infected surfaces. Recovery typically occurs within 7 to 10 days, without the need for medical treatment, although symptoms can be managed with over-the-counter remedies. Number 2. Sinusitis Sinusitis, also known as a sinus infection, occurs when the cavities around the nasal passages become inflamed and swollen. This condition can result from a viral, bacterial, or fungal infection and can be acute or chronic. Symptoms of sinusitis include facial pain or pressure, nasal congestion, runny nose, fever, and headache. Chronic cases may lead to persistent symptoms lasting for 12 weeks or longer. Treatment options vary depending on the cause and severity, ranging from nasal decongestants and saline sprays to antibiotics for bacterial infections. Number 3. Pharyngitis Pharyngitis is the medical term for inflammation of the pharynx, commonly known as a sore throat. It can be caused by both viral and bacterial infections, with the most common bacterial cause being Streptococcus pyogenes, which leads to strep throat. Symptoms include a painful, dry, or scratchy throat, difficulty swallowing, and in some cases fever and swollen lymph nodes. Viral pharyngitis typically resolves on its own with rest and fluid intake, while bacterial pharyngitis may require antibiotics for treatment. Number 4. Bronchitis Bronchitis is an inflammation of the bronchial tubes, the airways that carry air to your lungs. It usually results from a viral infection, but can also be caused by bacteria or irritants like smoke and dust. Acute bronchitis is characterized by coughing that may produce mucus, wheezing, chest discomfort, and fatigue. Chronic bronchitis, a condition included in COPD, involves a long-term cough with mucus. Treatment for acute bronchitis focuses on symptom relief, such as rest, increased fluid intake, and cough suppressants, while chronic bronchitis may require inhalers and pulmonary rehabilitation. Number 5. Tonsillitis Tonsillitis is an infection of the tonsils, the two lymph nodes located on each side of the back of the throat. It's most commonly caused by viral infections, but bacterial infections can also be responsible. Symptoms of tonsillitis include sore throat, swollen tonsils, difficulty swallowing, fever, and swollen glands in the neck. The condition can be diagnosed through a physical examination, throat swab, or blood test. Treatment varies depending on the cause. It may include home remedies, antibiotics for bacterial tonsillitis, and in severe or recurrent cases, surgical removal of the tonsils. Number 6. Laryngitis Laryngitis is the inflammation of the larynx, commonly known as the voice box, which can lead to voice changes ranging from hoarseness to complete loss of voice. This condition is most often triggered by viral infections, but it can also result from overuse of the voice, irritation, or bacterial infections. Symptoms include hoarseness, weak voice, or voice loss, sore throat, and dry cough. Laryngitis is usually temporary and resolves with rest and proper hydration. In cases where laryngitis is caused by bacterial infection or persists for more than two weeks, medical attention may be necessary. Number 7. Epiglottitis Epiglottitis is a potentially life-threatening condition characterized by inflammation and swelling of the epiglottis, the small cartilage lid that covers the windpipe. The swelling can block the flow of air into the lungs and is most commonly caused by bacterial infection, though it can also result from burns, injury to the throat, or other infections. Symptoms include severe sore throat, fever, difficulty in noisy breathing, and difficulty swallowing. 
Due to its potential to obstruct the airway, epiglottitis requires immediate medical attention, and treatment typically involves antibiotics and, in severe cases, securing the airway. Number 8. Croup Croup is a respiratory condition that is characterized by a distinctive barking cough, which is often compared to the sound of a seal's bark. It typically affects young children and is caused by a viral infection that leads to swelling of the larynx and trachea. Symptoms include a barking cough, hoarseness, fever, and in severe cases, difficulty breathing with a high-pitched whistling sound known as a strider. Croup is usually mild and can be treated at home with cool mist humidifiers, hydration, and keeping the child calm. However, severe cases may require medical intervention, such as steroid medication to reduce airway swelling or breathing treatments. Number 9. Influenza Influenza, commonly known as the flu, is a viral infection that attacks the respiratory system, including the nose, throat, and lungs. Unlike the common cold, the flu can lead to severe illness and life-threatening complications, especially in the elderly, young children, and those with certain health conditions. Symptoms are more intense and include high fever, chills, muscle aches, cough, congestion, fatigue, and headaches. The flu is contagious and spreads through respiratory droplets. Vaccination is the most effective way to prevent the flu, and antiviral drugs can be used to treat it, especially if they are started within the first 48 hours of symptom onset. Number 10. Whooping Cough Whooping cough, or pertussis, is a highly contagious bacterial infection of the respiratory tract caused by Bordetella pertussis. It's characterized by severe coughing spells that end in a whooping sound when the person breathes in. The cough can last for weeks and is more severe in infants and young children. Other symptoms include runny nose, nasal congestion, and fever. Vaccination is the best prevention against pertussis. Treatment typically involves antibiotics to reduce the infection's duration and severity, and hospitalization may be necessary for infants and those with severe cases. Number 11. Adenoiditis Adenoiditis is an inflammation of the adenoids, which are small pads of tissue located at the back of the nasal cavity. This condition is common in children and can be caused by a bacterial or viral infections. Symptoms of adenitis include nasal congestion or blockage, ear pain, difficulty breathing through the nose, snoring, and recurrent ear infections. Since adenoids help filter out bacteria and viruses from the air, their inflammation can lead to a decrease in the body's ability to prevent respiratory infections. Treatment for adenoiditis may involve antibiotics for bacterial infections, nasal steroid sprays, or in chronic cases, surgical removal of the adenoids. Number 12. Tracheitis Tracheitis is a rare but potentially severe infection of the trachea that usually occur in conjunction with an upper respiratory infection. It can be caused by bacteria or viruses, with bacterial tracheitis being more severe and often requiring hospitalization. Symptoms include a high-pitched cough, difficulty breathing, strider, and fever. Bacterial tracheitis is considered a medical emergency due to the risk of airway obstruction and requires prompt treatment with antibiotics and sometimes surgical intervention to secure the airway. Number 13. Scarlet Fever Scarlet fever is an infectious disease resulting from a specific type of Group A streptococcus bacterial infection, often following strep throat or a skin infection like impetigo. It's characterized by a bright red rash that feels like sandpaper, fever, sore throat, and a characteristic strawberry tongue. Scarlet fever primarily affects children between the ages of 5 and 15 and is highly contagious. Treatment includes antibiotics to prevent complications, relieve symptoms, and reduce transmission to others. With treatment, the rash and other symptoms usually improve within a week. Number 14. Diphtheria Diphtheria is a serious bacterial infection caused by Corynebacterium diphtheriae, affecting the mucous membranes of the throat and nose. Although it's rare in countries with advanced immunization programs, it can cause a thick gray or white coating in the throat, leading to difficulty breathing, swallowing, and potentially blocking the airway. Other symptoms include fever, chills, and swollen glands. Diphtheria is highly contagious and can be fatal if left untreated. Treatment involves administering diphtheria antitoxin to neutralize the toxin produced by the bacteria, along with antibiotics to clear the infection. Vaccination is key to preventing diphtheria. Number 15. Respiratory Syncytial Virus Respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, is a major cause of respiratory illness in infants and young children, but it can also affect adults, especially the elderly and those with underlying health conditions. 
RSV infections can range from mild, cold-like symptoms to serious lower respiratory tract illnesses, such as bronchiolitis and pneumonia. Symptoms include runny nose, decrease in appetite, coughing, sneezing, fever, and wheezing. In severe cases, hospitalization may be required for supportive care, such as oxygen therapy. There is no specific antiviral treatment for RSV. Prevention through good hygiene practices and monoclonal antibody prophylaxis in high-risk infants is crucial. But as previously mentioned, upper respiratory infections are a common part of life. But knowing the different types can help you manage symptoms, seek the right treatment, and even prevent future infections. From common colds and sinus infections to less familiar conditions like laryngitis, understanding these illnesses empowers you to take better care of your health. Stay informed, practice good hygiene, and consult a healthcare professional when needed. The more you know, the better prepared you'll be to breathe easy and stay healthy year-round. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.